Hello everybody and welcome to Daniel's Tutorials. Today we're going to ask a question if we can retrofit inbuilt LEDs, for example, in furniture like these, with an original Philips U LED stripe. And the question is, will it work after retrofitting the way it was intended? For retrofitting all this stuff, I bought an original Philips light stripe uh, with the controller and uh, for getting our furniture and inbuilt LED smart, we only need the controller, not the light stripe, so we will cut this here. So if this experiment goes wrong, then we have burnt a lot of money now. So now we are gonna cut off a foil. And on these cables as well, we are gonna remove the coating. For testing if everything works, we're going to use some Vago connectors to test everything if everything is working before we are going to use the soldering iron. With the help of the Vago cage clamps you see here, we are able to do a quick test on uh, which cable from our inbuilt LEDs really fits to which cable from the Philips U controller. So uh, this makes it a whole lot, of e whole lot easier. Next thing we do is we check our old controllers to find out which color is on which cable here, and then we take note. So this is what I did. I marked the cable. Um, I noticed the cable marking with what is on the controller. So this is plus green, blue, and red for all these different cable types. Um, on your furniture, on your LEDs, this can be completely different or even with colors. So check it and note it. So. After we have uh, connected everything, this video is evidence that using a Philips Hue controller on, an, on a foreign LED um, device, like for example in furniture or inbuilt LEDs, works. There is one thing you have to keep in mind. My LEDs in this furniture are red, green and blue uh, LEDs with three cables uh, controlling the colors. So there are other variants as well. Philips U original is a red, green, blue and white uh, system. So um, with this controller we have just hacked here, you can't um, control any white lights in your red, green and blue LED systems RGB. So uh, if you are having a system which uses a separate white channel as well, then you can control even that with a Philips U controller we just hacked. So one last thing, the LED stripe we just cut off, um, don't throw it away, you can still use it, just open this connection and you can use it as an extension for your original Philips Hue LED stripes. Well, the big advantage of using the original Philips Hue controllers with your inbuilt LEDs is that you can from now on control these devices with all platforms uh, Philips Hue is certified for, like for example, Apple HomeKit or Alexa and so on. If you are now really missing the option to use white light in your devices and in your LED stripes, then I can only recommend uh, you to use the third party uh, hardware from Glidopto. Um, it works perfectly with Philips Hue, for example, and it gives you the possibility to also control the white channels on all three red, green and blue channels. Um, but it is not certified and you can't use it with Apple HomeKit. So keep that in mind. You find the link to everything I used in this video and also to the Glidopto adapters in the video description below.